Hey guys, John here. As many of you know, FL Studio 21 is right around the corner. It's very exciting, and one of the coolest things is the themes that I kind of wanted to showcase in this video. So if you don't already know, up here in the options menu, we now have a theme setting. So if we click this, we're kind of greeted with a couple different versions. These two are my own that I've made myself, but default, this is kind of basically how it's going to come, what we're all used to right here. Then we have a dark orange, which is kind of interesting look right there. I guess dark orange is pretty self-explanatory. Then we have a dark mode, which is kind of similar to the dark orange, but a little bit more greenish and a little darker. Then we have these light versions here. So light cherry, light fruit, light pear, and light tangerine, which uh, is kind of painful to my eyes personally. But hey, if you like this theme, go ahead and choose that. And then the citrus one, I thought that was kind of cool. As a fan of citrus, this seems pretty interesting because they even had like the background right there for citrus. So it's very FL Studio, uh, very cool theme right there. Then we have Ultra Green for the default ones. And this one also is kind of cool. It reminds me almost a very acidy type of type of theme going on here. So eventually I took some time and I wanted to make my own version because I like this blue, this dark kind of blue and dark uh, gray color combinations. So this is kind of what I came up with here as a steel blue. And the concept of this was kind of based a little bit on pigments because I like that dark gray and the blue kind of theme playing off each other like that. So I kind of wanted to design a theme that's kind of similar to that because I use pigments a lot and I felt uh, like now pigments is now at home in FL Studio here. So that's kind of the cool thing here. If you do want to get this theme, you can download it in the video description below. I put a link to this one as well. So yeah, there's going to be more stuff coming up. I'm going to make some videos kind of in the future about the new features coming out because this version is very, very exciting and there's a lot of stuff we should talk about in the future. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.